Hey everybody, uh, what's up? So uh, today we're going to do uh, SNES. We haven't done that yet. Now uh, this can be used for any launchbox build. It could be used for the Uncle Rick build, which I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. If you're not running Uncle Rick, does any launchbox build this will work on? Now, during the setup of this is actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Uh, probably the hardest part is just locating your ROMs. I'm not going to locate ROMs. I think there's like nine ROMs that we're going to do on here. Uh, there's two games that are still in the works. So whenever, whenever I get those figured out, I'm going to do an update and show you how to do it. And those games are Shin's Revenge, which uses a mouse. So I just haven't been able to fully get that collaborated and also lethal enforcers the lethal enforcers i just couldn't get it to reload but i mean you have that for me but if you only do one for snes i'll get it figured out and we'll get it going uh the setup for this is actually pretty simple a launch box is going to do the majority of the work that we need and the game's really easy you just point and click you can use the reload button on some of them then we can exit the game out. I'll go over all the controls and everything that you need. We'll go ahead and show you which ones you'll need. So you have Battle Clash, Bazooka Blitzkrieg, uh, Lethal Enforcers. Go ahead and grab that if you want. But if you get to figure out how to reload, let me know. Uh, Metal Combat Revenge, Falcons, Operation Thunderbolt, Shin's Revenge. If you get that figured out, let me know as well. Uh, Super Scope. T2, 10 Star, X Zone, and Safari. Now, all these games are single player, but are going to have this set number two slot. But even though it's in number two slot on the emulator, you can still use your player one gun. And like I said, it's really easy. And we'll go ahead and get started. And okay, so you can go ahead and uh, make a note, but these are going to be the files that you're going to need. And you can find these in just any no intro set you can find on the Internet Archive. Chances are, if you already have some games, you have an SNES library, you'll have these games in your system as well. So these are the ones that you're going to need. Battle Clash USA, Bazooka Blitzkrieg USA, Metal Combat, Falcons Revenge USA, Operation Thunderbolt, Super 6, T2 Arcade Game, 10 Star, X Zone, and Yoshi's Safari. Okay, so now, of course, after you get this source, we'll need to get the emulator sourced out as well okay and a good place to find it is actually just send it in a wiki now like i said you can use this for any gun so even if you're not on using ascending go ahead and come to the send in wiki page we're going to come to emulators there's going to be two versions you're going to have the no crosshair version done by dr prof glx that's first thing to him he does a lot of work in the community as well and then you have the original one um just I'd recommend just for testing purposes and after you confirm all the games are good, I would just get the regular SNES 9X, which is going to be uh, right here. And then get that if you want the no crosshairs after you can confirm everything's going good and you're happy with your build. But for now, let's go ahead and get the SNES 9X. Just click on that. I'll take you straight to the link. Okay, and come down here and, of course, get the one that goes on your computer. I believe most of us will be using a 64-bit. Go ahead and click on that. Yeah, we'll have a zip. Yeah. All right, open your zip, and you're going to have these files here. Okay, and just find the build that you're going to put this in. Um, for tutorial purposes, I'm going to be using the Uncle Rick Unleash build, but the process is going to be the same no matter which build you add this to. Okay, now we're going to drop this into our emulators folder. And if you don't have emulators folder, then just wherever you keep your emulators at. <clears throat> okay, now I want to create a folder to put this in. I'm just going to name it SNES underscore LG, LG for light gun. You can name it whatever you want. Open the folder, it's going to be bling, and you're just going to drop all these into your folder okay now go ahead and open this up 
and we're going to go to our input um, check super scope go to uh, customize hotkeys and you go to page two then you're going to have a super scope turbo and a super uh, scope pause now you can set these forever you want um, I want to set these to my arcade coin and start, which would be uh, five and one. If you have it set up following my tutorials, then that would be the front right on your sending. So the uh, turbo is going to be the on screen front right, and then the pause is going to be the off screen right front right. <laughs> so go ahead and pull your border up. And I want to click on my turbo. So it's going to be green waiting for me. Front right is going to be number one. And I know that's going to be number five. Now the turbo button for some games is important to use. So do make sure you map that. Hit your OK. OK. And as of right now, that's all we want to do with the emulator. You can go ahead and close it. We're going to come back to the simulator after we confirm LaunchBox has everything running as it should. Go ahead and minim actually go to your SNES 9X on your wiki. should be just the same page where you got this. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and come down here where it says port to Super Scope. Just go ahead and copy this from the dash all the way to Super Scope. We're going to need this line whenever we put in or we put in the emulator. So go ahead and start your launch box now if it's not already started. And make sure your sin and light gun is on. It should have already been on already from the Okay, so as you can see here in my consoles, I do not have the Super Nintendo. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our Super Nintendo games. Uh, first, we want to start with the games themselves. So let me get to my games here. The SNES LGs. Open up my launch box, pull this back up. And I'm just going to drag and drop all these into here. Uh, ROM files, and I want to do it for Let's see. Show, show default platforms. And I want to do it for my Super Nintendo. Hit next. Uh, since we already ha have our system getting ready to come in for manually, uh, we're just going to go to a manually configure emulator. And we're just going to skip this for now. So just hit next. Uh, I want to move the files into the LaunchBox folders, so you can do that if you want. And I'm just going to check all of these. <clears throat> that is going to help bring in all the media that that I want. Uh, for some importing duplicates, just to make sure my games do come in without any issues. I'll hit next. Nine games. You have nine games. Make sure the completed names are shown for this and not just the ROM names. Hit finish. Okay, and whilst doing that, we can go ahead and get our emulator set up for this. So go ahead and go to your tools. Manage emulators. And we're going to add and type in SNES. It should auto populate the 9X. And let's go ahead and click down here, and it's going to auto configure the uh, scripts and the size that we need. Now, right here on this line, default command line parameters, uh, right click and paste, and that's where this line needs to go. So now, when this starts up, the emulator is going to know that you always want to use the super scope for games wanting this. I want to rename this emulator underscore LG. So if you're running uh, SNES games, but you 
want to use this simulator. That way you can just use this emulator for these specific games. So we're going to hit associate platforms, uh, default emulator. I want to uncheck this for now, just for those who already have some SNES games on there. Cause if you leave that check defaulted, then it's going to override the previous emulator and give you this emulator. So if you're not playing light gun games, then the games are going to be all messed up. So be sure to uncheck that. We're going to, reassign them here in a bit and it's going to be super easy all right so everything looks good here uh, go ahead and hit okay emulator path oh yeah of course you gotta show where it's going to be at and we just want to go to the folder where we dropped it so go to your launch box build wherever it is on your computer emulators for me All right, and then we have this right here. Now, if it doesn't show on yours, because when I've done this in testing, I didn't have this show up. In the bottom right, where it says applications and everything else, if you hit down on that, you'll see something else that'll say all files, and then everything will pop up. So if this doesn't show up, just drag that down and hit all files, and then this should show up for you. Okay, so now we got our path. Hit OK. I'm going to close this out. Uh, go to your Super Nintendo. And you can mess around with the image group if you want. I always prefer to 3D boxes. And uh, let's just go ahead and set the emulators up for these. So go ahead and select all of them. Just click one, then hit Control A. Right click and open Bulk Edit Wizard. Go to next, hit the field, and we want to go to emulators. Now, if you have this mixed in with your regular, uh, with your regular Super Nintendo games, then you only want to pick just these games here. But this will change the emulators for all of these all at once. Value, we want to put it to the SNES 9X LG. Hit next. Hit next. No more changes. All right. And now for testing, let's just go ahead and pick a game to boot up. Let's see. Pick one that just gets started pretty quickly. This one gets started pretty fast. Okay. So we can't confirm it boots up now. No issues. Uh, just hit Alt B to manually put on the border. Take your gun, move it around. Now you see how that turns to a crosshair? If it wasn't in Super Scope mode, that would just be a regular mouse. So I can confirm that we are in Super Scope mode. Now, every game is going to ask you for a test. And real quick on these, so your turbo buttons are going to be your front right. And some games it works, some games it doesn't. It's just, it's just kind of awkward at times. See if I can get this to pause. Ah, don't want to do that. Okay, so I got this pause, so I'll go over, over real quick what these commands are. So your power, turbo, on and off buttons want to be the button that you set for turbo, which should be the on-screen front right on your send-in or whatever your start button is for your arcade. Player one start. Easy way to remember it. Uh, your fire button is going to be your trigger and your cursor is going to be your pump action. And your pause is going to be the off-screen turbo button. So that's the only controls you need to know. And majority of these games, all you're going to use is just your fire button. Let's go ahead and get this started. Make sure everything fires off as it should. There we go. So I'm just going to shoot the screen. You're all, you want to have this for every game, so just go ahead and shoot. Now, 
Now, for some games, if you can't get out of the uh, target, uh, just pull your pump action. There's a couple of games where you're going to need to pull your pump action or off-screen cursor to get past that part. And one game, I think it's Yoshi's a far yet to the turbo button, so that'd be your, your turbo button, your on-screen front right. All right, everything looks good here. Get my escape to get out of the game. Okay, and that's really it. Pretty simple. Um, let's go ahead and tie our reshade to this game, to this emulator. Okay, so we're going to go back to our wiki. Or you can already use a reshade program that you have on file. But third party tools. Reshade, reshade website. Let's come all the way down here. And you have the latest reshade as of right now is 6.2. All right, I'm just going to open this up. Go back to your build. And we're going to tie this to the emulator itself so you don't have to do this per game. We tie it to the emulator and then it's going to pop it up for every other game that runs on the same emulator. All right, hit next, and you're going to want to use uh, Direct9x, so hit next, hit next. All right, and that's it. And we're going to finish, minimize, and just open up any game. Okay, so we have the uh, reshade enabled right here. So let's go ahead and Maximize this for now. Hit my home button. Hit skip tutorial. Of course, I want to go borders. Um, you can uh, use your uh, Technicolor. I think that might make it overly too colorful. So I think for SNES, just the HDR. And, yeah, that looks fine. So I'll leave it right there. You don't have to do that. That's just my preference. Now click on the border. And we're right here, so change that to white. Change this all the way to about 10 or 13, whatever's best for you. All right, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and fix our video up here. So let's go ahead and close this out. Right click on any of the games. We're going to open up the SNES 9X LG. So you can always full screen it all and enter, but when you, you want to do it without having to do all that, I want to hit display. Uh, now, if you want to in a, stay in a maintained aspect ratio, that's fine. But if someone has some black borders on the side, um, I just want mine fully stretched out. So I'm just going to check that. Um, I want full screen and full screen on ROM open. Hit OK. Okay, now let's go ahead and exit out of this. You can just hit Alt and Enter to bring that screen back. Close it. Let's open up the game again. And it should boot us right into full screen. Hit Escape, and then we can close it. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now, we will need to do an edit for the T2 arcade game. So, you can only play one player on this. Of course, you do two players, and someone's going to have to use the controls or a joystick or controller, and you'll just have to go into emulator and set that up. But we're going to need to create another emulator instance for a T2 arcade game, and it's really easy, really simple to get started. The reason is the pump action and the trigger is swapped on this game. So when you're pulling the trigger, you'll be shooting rockets. And when you're pulling the pump, you're shooting bullets. So we need to fix that. Okay, and that's really going to be really easy to do. We're going to come up here to your tools. Go to manage, manage emulators. We're going to create another SNES instance so I'm going to go to add 
Yes, I need S9X, let it auto populate. We're going to use the same exact emulator. Okay, now that's what I was talking about. So it's on the binary. You see how it doesn't show anything? So if I drag this down to all files, now I have everything here, and that's the one I want. So hit open. Okay, and we're still going to use the uh, port to uh, super scope. And what we're going to add is right in here into the running script. So we're just going to add on to this hotkey to where our left mouse will act as the right mouse, and our right mouse is going to act as our left mouse button. Okay, so here it is. You're just going to enter, have a space here, and we're going to add this right here. And this is all together, so it's going to be capital L, capital B for button, colon, colon, capital R, capital B on the button. All that's together. And then next line is just that in reverse, right button, colon, colon, L button, and that's it. Hit your OK. Oh, yeah, we don't want to uh, default that. And we can come back and rename. I was going to rename this one underscore term for Terminator. We're just using this one for the Terminator game. Yeah, we don't want this to be a default emulator. Hit OK. Let me double check to make sure nothing else defaulted to that. Okay, yeah, so you can just right click on it. It's going to show the default right here, so the LG is what we want. And then if I right click on this, it should show. And it doesn't. Yeah, we need to change it still. Okay, so now it comes to Terminator. Right click on that. Go to Edit, Edit Metadata. You want to come up to uh, Emulation. And we're just going to drag this down and pick term. So SNES 9 next term. Hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and launch this game and give it a quick playthrough. Our border is already up from a reshade since we are technically using the same emulator. We're just creating a different type of instance in LaunchBox. So I can see my crosshair here and it's on the mouse. So I know the super scope is registering. All right, on this one, you'll have to use the pump action to get the game started. Okay, so my bullets are shooting where they should be. I'm using the trigger on the pump action. I'm getting the rockets as I should. Or if you're not using send in, I guess it'd be your off screen. That'll work as well. But anyways, everyone, uh, that is it. As far as media goes and theme videos, we'll have that coming down the road. I believe Michael Schreiner is working on some amazing artwork for this stuff. So when he gets that done, I'll be sure to give him his props. And I'll have a video over on how to use all that. But anyways, I hope this helps you all out. And you all have a great day. And thank you for spending part of your day to spend time with me. I will catch you all later. And peace.